speak. It's our time to listen. It's time to talk. All of the things you say you want to be there, you're here for me. You're all about the future and everything. You didn't even fight for a second. What's up, family? It's your girl, Samantha Lee, and I'm here because, y'all, I saw this video online and I had to do a reaction to it, okay? So this is the first of this kind. This is actually not a video I've covered or posted on my actual channel. So this is going to be very new to you guys if you haven't already seen it floating in your social media space. Um, it's a clip from Ready to Love, which is a show I love to watch. You got, well, no, it's not Ready to Love. Well, it's a spinoff from Ready to Love. Anyway. You're going to see this clip with me. We're going to break this thing down piece by piece. You don't want to miss it. But before I get into this clip, I want to remind you guys, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button if you like what I'm posting. I'm posting content almost daily. Nowadays, it's five days a week. And I'm going live once a week. And I'm also posting long-form content for your pleasure. And I don't want you guys to miss a thing. Um, in addition to that, hit that notification bell because... Listen, you, your girl be a little busy, so sometimes not at the same time. I don't want you to miss not one piece of content. I don't want to miss you on lives. I love connecting with you guys. So if you can, it's free. Just hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. All right, you guys, without further ado, this is a clip. And uh, y'all, I am uh, look, I might need to go ahead and look up what the name of the show is. Um, but I, I'll be sure to, to link it down below what the name is of the actual show is because I, I think it's really interesting. I know they took all the ready to love cast members um, that were fan favorites and then they put them on a show, the females and they're trying to do this like matchmaking type of thing. So th I know that that's what this premise is, but I had to break this down y'all because let me just get, let me just get into it. Let's just get into it. Okay. Hold on. She's about to break some news to him. He's going to react. We're going to see what happens. All right, you ready? All right, all right. I'm gonna break it. I listen. I'm not gonna play it all the way through. Okay, it's not gonna be linear. I'm gonna break it down. You don't want to miss it. I got a lot to say. Decided to move into another direction. That's how you feel. I gotta respect it. Not the empty water bottle, y'all. What I think is really funny about this is that okay, so she breaks it down. Listen, I'm gonna move into a different direction. I don't want you. And he goes into, all right, well, that's how you feel. I got to respect it. Take the empty water bottle. Obviously, body movement saying he's a little uncomfortable, right? Body language is speaking, and it's speaking that. Um, and, you know, he's like, okay, well, you don't, you don't reject me. I'm going to take it like a man. I'm not going to sit here and and, and, and beg or do what, whatever. It is what it is. That's how you feel. I respect it. Cool. Sounds good. Let's continue. And that's all you have to say. If that's how I feel, I'm going to respect I mean, it. What you, you seem like you said you're one liner. Like that. If that's all you have to say, should, let's cut like and let's just let it go. So what? So what did you want him to say, sis? <laughs> Baby, come back. Is that what you wanted him to say? Here's my thing, y'all. So she did this. She did the switch up and switch ups. She done told old oh boy, listen. Um, I look. I don't want you. I'm gonna have to move in a different direction. He takes it like a G. He says, "All right, well, fake water bottle three thousand. He does that. Then she says, well, if that's how you feel, if that's all you got for me is a one liner, well, then let's go ahead and hug and be done with it because you ain't got nothing else to say. Uh, what else is he supposed to say, sis? What else is he supposed to say? What did you want him to say after being rejected? I'm going to tell you this. If somebody says they're going to move in a different direction, 
I'm not about to argue with them. I'm not about to state my case. I'm not about to plead. I'm not about to do none of that. So if this was a move to get him to chase you, um, we can't be doing that in 2023. We can't be playing that game over over 30. We can't do that. We can't play the the old switcher rule. I want you to chase me move. Because it's it's sounding like you want you said that to get a reaction from him. He might be one of them guys that we, you know, we've all been with a guy that doesn't give a lot of emotion, right? They don't really give you a lot. So you sometimes if you're not good with that type of guy, you create some type of chaos to get a reaction from him because you don't get no other reaction from him. And so um, it seems like he might be one of them dudes that seems very, you know, um, non-reactive. He just seemed non-reactive. I can't think of the word that I'm looking for, but he's just like, okay, whatever. Like, let's roll off his back. And now she 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 got a little issue. She said a little something, something. Let's see if she continues to say a little something, something. If this is actually a ploy to get him, because her next reactions are going to tell us what exactly she said it, what why she said what she said when she said it. Okay, that's we're going to see that in this next clip. All right, did she or did, is she just saying, oh well, if you got nothing to say, well then let's hug. She might just mean that and want to be done with it, or based on her next actions, did she want him to chase her? Well, no. We will know. We will know based on her next reactions. Okay, y'all ready? Let's go. You ain't trying to fight for nothing. You seem like you've already made your it decision. It ain't about me already making a decision. You don't have a rebuttal you for nothing like that I'm saying. You seem like you've already made your decision. A rebuttal? Okay, so you saw, you saw how quickly you guys got clear. How how we all got clarity that quick? Y'all be trying to read women. Women, women kind of easy to read, y'all. She says she want to move in a different direction. He pulled out the water bottle 3,000. She then further stated, well, if that's all you got to say, let's just go ahead and hug and move our own direction. He gets up to hug and move in, a, in his own direction. She's like, you, so this is what you, so you not, you not even about to fight for nothing. So he started walking away. She's walking behind him to further argue with him and get in his face about not fighting for her. Women, I hope y'all are watching. This ain't functional. I love you, sis. I don't even really know you. That's not functional. What that is, is a game. What that is, is self-sabotage. What that is, is playing the switch up to get him to do what you want him to do. What that is, is manipulation. You want him. You want him to fight for you. You put him in a circumstance to see if he would fight for you. He didn't. Now you reacted. That's how I know it's a game. And that's how men, if you're watching, that's how you know it's a game. When a woman reacts in a certain way, if I really want to drop the issue, if I really want to be done with it, I ain't going to say nothing else after that. All right, be blessed on your journey. But if I'm looking for something, if I'm looking for a reaction, your re your response, how I react to your response to what I'm saying is going to show you everything. Like if a woman trying to break up with you or she's saying she she done, she done, she done, call her on her bluff, see what she does after that. Oh, so you ain't go, so you just going to let me go? So you just so you just gonna give up? See, I, that's what you want to do anyway. You want to be out here in these streets anyway. I knew that. Game, it's a game. It's actually a game. Okay, but when it's like you done and she moves on in her piece, okay, well that woman's done. I mean, I hate to, hate to break it to you. If she moves on and she don't have no rebuttal, you call her on her bluff of like, okay, well I think we should just end the relationship. You call her on her bluff, she says, oh. Uh, it, well, you say, okay, well, yeah, we should break up. And she's like, okay, well, and that's it. That's all you hear. Okay. Well, she was, she's done. She, she actually is done. That's how, but again, I'm letting you guys know that, but I'm also saying it with the context of we should not be doing this. We should not be doing this. If you want a man to fight for you, why can't we communicate that we want him to fight for us? Why can't we say what we want? Why do we have to play this game to get people to do what we want them to do versus just saying what you would like instead of being like, oh, well, I don't want to say that because then you would not act in uh, according to what you normally do. And that's going to tell me X, Y and Z. And I don't want to I don't want to mess up your flow. And I just want to see what this is. And I don't want no. The reality is you don't want to put yourself out there. You don't want to be vulnerable, just like everybody else. 
So instead of just being vulnerable and saying what you want and saying what you would like, how you would like things to go, you don't want to put yourself in a place of being rejected. So you don't. And then you play this game. And then get mad when you get the result, which is him acting like he doesn't care. And you want him to care. So instead of playing this game, I am advocating for us to stop playing games and start being real with not only ourselves, because that's where it starts off at. A lot of us are lying to ourselves if we're being real. We're not being honest with ourselves about what we want. We're not being honest with ourselves about how we feel. Okay? That's how that's what this where this all starts. But in addition to that, we're not being if we're not being real with ourselves, we're definitely not being real with the people that we're dealing with. Anyway, let's keep moving forward, y'all. I wanted you to say something. Okay, you're not saying I wanted you to say something and you're not saying anything. Sis I don't know if you're watching me. You may not watch me. That's okay. This is not how you handle this. No, ma'am. Uh-uh. I ain't going to let you do it, sis. I, I, this, is, this is actually sabotaging. Because, I mean, if, if I was him, I wouldn't be fighting. to. I wouldn't be sitting here trying to convince you of why you should see my value, why you should keep me on the show. I wouldn't be doing that. I'd be like, all right, well, you know. I would go home and talk to Jesus about what happened. I am not talking to you. <laughs> I'd be on, I would call my, if I was him, I'd be calling my homeboy, my mama. I'd be talking to the Lord. I'm talking to somebody. I will vent to some other person, but you, you ain't going to get my feelings. Not after you just rejected me. You ain't going to get that. That's what I would be thinking. And that's what you would be thinking. So you put him in a position, you're playing a game and you're about to reject a guy. You actually want to stay. You actually want to. And you know what? To be honest with you, well, all these guys out here that can't handle rejection, you want a guy that's able to handle it and take it on the chin. Like, okay, cool. All right. Well, that, uh, there's a lot of men that would fight back, do a lot of different things. And that's actually not a positive sign. Him being able to say, okay, cool. Well, you know, you win some, you lose some. That's not a bad thing. Now, I know we in a different type of situation. We got we're in a relationship and you you know, they're not get, they're not putting forth energy or effort to, you know, make the relationship work. Okay, well that's different. That's different. But in this situation, he's taking rejection like a chair. And that's how I would do it. I mean, that I literally I I you ain't finna you're not about to get you're not about to get nothing from me. <laughs> your girl keeping your girl keeping a, a face, okay? You ain't about to get the you did it, but, but, but you ain't get the best of me. Nah. Mm -mm. Okay, sorry y'all. Let's keep going. It's not time to listen. It's time to talk. All of the things you say, you want to be there. You're here for me. You're all about the future and everything. You didn't even fight for a second. So you played a game. You wanted him to fight for you. That didn't work. You end up hurting yourself trying to play a game with a guy you actually like. Because I can tell you actually like him. I don't know why you were, I don't even, if you wanted him to show you if he really was interested, if you wanted him to show you that he truly cared, there is a way to communicate that without trying to play a game of manipulation. And since this is not personal, because you ain't the only one that does this, okay? A lot of us do this. A lot of us play this game. Oh, we're going to break up just to see what you're going to do. We're going to, you know, well, I'm I'm going to leave then. Y'all, I ain't going to lie to you. You girls was the queen of that. I still struggle with the with the, the giddy up and go. I ain't going to lie to you. I get, you know. I struggle with that. I've, I have struggled with that. We just have it. It's a sometimes you might be in that moment where you really do feel like you want to leave a situation. And I, I am that kind of person. And then there's times where you are just you are calculated. You're coming in calculated with a plan 
to end something to see or start an argument with someone to see if they care. Now, I'm not quite on that realm. I'm more on the realm of if I'm that, uh, you know, anxious or if I get that riled up, I want to leave. I want to escape. I want to go by myself somewhere. I I just want to go. I want to go to my safe space. And that's not healthy either. Okay, but that's that's me. Some of y'all that's watching me may be the same way. Um, whereas there are people that will will play the breakup game, play those games to get a reaction. And I think we have to be very mindful because I think a lot of us, we do, we, I mean, more, this, this is not, per, again, not personal to her because she's just showing us what we do. And we can look on the outside and be like, oh, that well, that didn't make that's not a good idea. You shouldn't do that. We can say that, but then in our next argument with somebody that we care about, or in our as we're dating, we'll find ourselves playing the same game and then casting judgment on someone that we see doing what we do in real life on the TV screen. The point of watching something like this together and and having commentary is for us to be able to have a dialogue that then you can apply in your dating life. Like, okay, you know what? Let me just be vulnerable. Let me just say what I feel. The worst that can happen is that this person can walk away and say they don't don't want me. And that's, that's painful. That could be very hard, right? But you can, on the reverse, you could end up saying that you need something from this person and they could be like, you know what? I want something with you and I'm sorry, this, that, and the third causes me not to do that. Let's, let's go about this a different way. How, how do you need me to receive? How do you need me to like show you my, what, I, what I want and things like that? I close off because I've been hurt, but you know, there's, there's, this could turn into a healthy conversation where two people that have feelings for each other end up getting on the same page by having difficult conversations in the dating process. The problem that we have in our society is that we want to save hard conversations and hard moments for after the I do. And that's not the time for us to say, oh, let, let's process how you handle conflict versus me. No, we need to have these hard conversations now. We need to be doing this now instead of rejecting this man when you don't want to reject him. It's about having a conversation with him about, hey, the way that you show up in this dating situation, I don't really feel like you care about me. I don't really feel like this is a genuine feeling between the two of us. And honestly, it might not be. I mean, I'll be honest with you. You want to show. There are people that are on the show to be on the show. And then there are people that are genuinely there to look for love. I don't know where, why he is there. So if you're already feeling like you've got to pull out antics to get him to like you or to show that he likes you, that might be a sign he don't. But, but all of that can be worked out and talked about if we start being more vulnerable with our feelings, being more honest with ourselves and being more honest with the people that we are seeing. Because they also deserve to know the truth. They don't deserve to be toyed with. I think that that's the biggest thing is that we're all in a culture of just trying to wear a mask and and not get hurt. Everybody's not trying to get hurt. Not trying to get finesse. Not trying to, not trying to get exposed. Not trying to, all these different things we're afraid of, which keeps us in this holding pattern of not really being able to experience the type of love and connection that we all desire because we all desire it. We all do. And so y'all, that is my commentary on this one. This was the entire clip and it says make a move is ready to love, make a move. That's the name of the show. So if you guys want to watch the journey of the um, people that are on the show, go ahead, is ready to love, make a move. I really appreciate people coming out there and being transparent uh, with their journey. That's a that's a really tough. I mean, I can't imagine what that's like. Um, but I, I love it because it allows us to have a, a real conversation about what's actually happening in the modern dating market.
So if you're watching this video and you have something to say, if there's something that I missed or something that you feel like I need to comment more on or have a healthy debate, please in the comments, let me know if there are other pieces of content that you find on the internet waves. Email it to me, okay? There's an email attached to my YouTube. You can always uh, DM me on social media. I'm at Love Samantha Lee on all platforms. Um, let's keep having these type of dialogues, family. That's what makes us game changers is having us, allowing us to have the safe space to have, well, safe as, as safe as you can be, right? On this internet space. We can't be that. We're not that safe. But we we in a somewhat safe space to just have hard conversations and and have a healthy back and forth so that we can start seeing some type of change in our atmosphere. All right. We got to We got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. So if you like this video, you like the content that you see popping up from my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Become a part of our Game Changer Nation. We have grown so fast. And the last year now is it's exactly a year as I'm doing this video um, of growing this YouTube channel. And we are over. I don't even know how many. I'll be honest with you. I don't even know how many subscribers I have. I'm beyond. I think it's like. 300, almost 350,000 in almost a year. So I'm just very grateful um, uh, um, for each and every person that decides to invest some time into watching me. I value your time. I know your time is a limited resource and, and I value you use it, utilizing it to watch me. So anyway, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys soon. I love y'all. We will connect very soon. Bye. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you guys. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button, y'all. Let's not just be every once in a while. Let's become family, okay? Friends that are family, <laughs> okay? Join my family today. 